In today's video, we are going to be using the Turtle module in Python to create ourselves something called a Spirograph. And this is an example of what it's going to look like when you're finished. So basically all it is is a whole bunch of circles um, drawn very close to one another and overlapping each other. It's a pretty cool um, pattern that you can make. So to get started on making this Spirograph, what I want you to do is open up Python and make yourself a new empty file. Once you've got your blank empty file up, First thing you want to do is import the turtle library. Okay, remember that the turtle library is just a whole bunch of code that's already written for us, so it saves us having to code um, in great depth. And the next thing I'm going to do is just write turtle.bg color and in brackets and then quotation marks black. So when our window pops up in just a moment when we run this code, the background color of that window is going to be black. After that, we're going to change our pen size, so turtle.pen size to 2. So it's just a little bit thicker than usual when we draw these circles. And the turtle.speed is going to be set to 0. So that means when the turtle is drawing our shapes on the screen, it's going to be no animation and it's going to appear pretty quickly. So 0 is the fastest speed the turtle can draw at. Okay, so now that we've got that all set up, we can start drawing the circles onto the screen and in different colors. So as I said before, we're going to be using a loop to do this. I'm going to use a for loop. So it's going to be for i in range, and then brackets, we're going to write 6, and put a colon, and when you press enter, you'll see your mouse cursor is indented. That's just showing you that you're now inside the loop, and the code that we write in now while it's indented is going to be looped over and over again 6 times. Okay, so once we're inside this loop, we're going to actually create a second loop. Okay, and what this loop is going to do is basically scroll through the different colors that we list here. So each circle that we draw is going to be a different color. So we're going to write four colors in, and we're going to make something called a list, and we make a list using square brackets. Okay, and I'm just going to write red, comma, Magenta, comma, blue, comma, cyan, comma, I've got a few to come here still, green, comma, yellow, comma, white. And that will do it. So I'll close off my square bracket there. And at the very end, I want you to do a colon. And what that's going to do is just open up this next loop. Alright, so now that we've got that done, we can start to draw these circles. So, first thing we want to set our turtle.color, so the color of our circle, to the word colors. Oops. And basically, what, that's, what that is saying is the color of our turtle or the circle that we're going to draw is chosen from the list called colors, which is just up here. So, there's colors there, and that's the list of colors. And it just goes through. So the first circle will be red, the second circle will be magenta, blue, cyan, green, yellow, then white. And it'll just keep repeating in that order. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is just set the size of our circle. So turtle.circle will have a 100 radius. And then turtle.left will just move the angle of our turtle by 10 degrees. Okay, and that's basically the code to get the circles drawn. And that's going to loop over and over again, okay, until we finish it six times. And then what we can do is just write turtle dot hide turtle, so we don't see the little mouse cursor when it's drawing it. And that ought to do us. So let's save that by pressing Control S, and just give it the name Spirograph and press F5 to run your code. And there you have it. That is a cool little Spirograph. Okay, so there's the code one more time. Feel free to pause the video to get down anything you might have missed.